So hopefully after the last two videos, you really understand what continuous functions are and what causes them to be discontinuous. So let's go ahead and move on to some actual homework examples. In this video, we're going to be working all examples that have these instructions here. Determine if the given function is continuous at the specified value of x. So in my first example here, f of x equals x minus 3 over x minus 4, we want to figure out is this function actually continuous at x equals 4. Let's review the formal definition and probably more importantly, let's review what it takes to prove something is continuous or something is discontinuous. It's easier to prove that something is discontinuous because if that's the case, we only have to prove that one property specifically doesn't hold. If we want to prove something that is continuous, we have to prove that all three properties hold in themselves. And that's talking about these three properties up here. My function has to be defined. My limit has to exist, which means most of the time we have to check that the left hand and the right hand limits match up. And the answers that we get for part A and part B have to match, meaning my limit has to match where my function is. And so let's go ahead and move back to my first example here. So let's go ahead and just start from the top. Let's see what's happening at x equals 4. So let's start with property A. We have to prove that f of 4 is defined. So we just plug 4 into this function. 4 minus 3 in the numerator and 4 minus 4 in the denominator. On the top we get 1. On the bottom we get 0. If we're looking in function notation and we get 0 on the bottom, that means we have a problem. And the way that we specify that the vocabulary that we use in function notation is that this guy is undefined. So since we have something that's undefined in property A, that means we do not have to move on any farther. That means f of x is not continuous when x is equal to 4. And we don't have to do any more work besides that. To prove something is discontinuous, you only have to disprove one property. Now, I want to talk a little bit more about this because if you didn't start with A, you could have also prove that this one is discontinuous by using property B. If we look at property B here, we have to show that the limit as x is approaching 4 of our function does not exist. Well, we do the work virtually the same way. We plug in 4 into our function, and we get out 1 divided by 0. Now, the language that we use in limit notation is something is divided by 0, then we say it does not exist. So be careful about your vocabulary. Functions are undefined, and limits do not exist. So this just re-emphasizes that our function is not continuous at x equals 4. Now, if you want to get the visual of what's actually happening here, let's go back and look at the example of visuals that I gave you before. So what's happening here is this guy right here. I have a vertical asymptote at x equals 4, and the graph on the left is not going to match up with the graph on the right. So that tells me that f of c, or in our example, f of 4 is undefined. And since the limit on the left does not match the limit on the right, that means the limit as x is approaching 4 of our function does not exist. So we actually have two reasons in this example of which our function is not defined at x equals 4. Now, I have overproved this for sure, because remember, to prove that it's not continuous, we only have to show one of these properties doesn't hold. Let's go ahead and move on to a second example. This is a piecewise function, f of x equals x plus 2, when x is less than 4, and 2x when x is greater than or equal to 4. Again, our definition says if it's discontinuous, we need to prove one and only one of these properties, A, B, or C doesn't hold. To prove that it is continuous, 
We just want to prove, we need to prove that all three of these properties hold. So I suggest that you pause the video and see if you can figure out this one on your own. Okay, if you don't know where to start, then I suggest just by starting with property A. So let's do that here. We want to figure out where F of 4 is, because that's what I'm trying to prove is continuous. Well, in piecewise functions, if we want to find a function of our value, we look for the or equal to symbol. Whichever piece has that or equal to, then we just plug it into that part. So I'm going to plug it into my second piece, 2 times x, or in this case, 2 times 4. That gives us just 8, meaning there's no problems at that point, so property A holds. So, so far, we believe that this function is continuous. Let's move on to part B. Part B says that the limit as x is approaching 4 of our function must exist. Since we have a piecewise function and our separator is where we're trying to prove that it holds, in this case, we have to prove that the limit as x is approaching 4 from the left is going to match up with the limit as x is approaching 4 from the right. So if we want to find the limit as x is approaching 4 from the left, we use the left piece. So 4 from the left-hand side is smaller than 4. So that means we plug it into our first piece here. So 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. If I want the limit from the right, I look for values that are bigger than 4, which means I use the second piece. So I'm going to plug it into this piece right here. So I do 2 times 4. Gives us 8. So this is my left-hand limit. This is my right-hand limit. We need these to match up. Since they do not match up, that tells me that my limit, as x is approaching 4 in general, does not exist. So since property B does not hold, that tells me that f of x is not continuous at x is equal to 4. And if you would like to see a visual to help you figure out what's going on here, let's go ahead and look back at these. So the visual that meets with this one is this one right here. I have a piecewise function on the left, which is not defined at C, or in our example, 4. I have a piece on the right, which is defined at C, which is 4. And so what's happening here is on the left, it's approaching 6. On the right, it's approaching 8. And we see at C, our pieces don't match up meaning the limit from the left does not match up with the limit from the right. So therefore, our graph is not continuous at this x value equal to 4. I'm going to stop this video here, and in the next video, I'm going to do two more examples of this exact same type, trying to prove whether my function is continuous or discontinuous at a specified given x value.